Hey guys, so today I want to check out the Android 4.2.2 update for the HTC One. Yes, it's finally here. This is how it looks like. Let's just go into the settings area and let's have a quick little look here. So you can really see that this is the latest update. So when we go into settings here, go down to about phone, uh, software information, you can see that this is the 4.2.2 update. It's a 400 megabyte update that is going out to the international HTC ones as far as I can understand. And if it's not aware in your region at the moment, maybe UK, India or something, hopefully it will uh, arrive very, very soon. And if you are on a carrier, uh, on a contract and stuff, then it might work a little bit different. But uh, they, they, bring, they do bring some new updates here and some enhancements, uh, like uh, the launcher here is a little bit enhanced and it also feels like it's a little bit more snappy here when I go into my app drawer down here. Uh, also, they now have quick settings here when you go down, you have a new button over here. So you quickly uh, have some toggles here, airplane mode, Bluetooth, auto rotate, power save. Uh, Wi-Fi mobile data, screenshot, uh, Wi-Fi hotspots and sound profile and also quick little uh, button there to quickly go into the settings area. Also what you can now do is uh, you can now long press uh, on the home button to bring out uh, pro to bring up the options just like so. So uh, we also have some other new updates is that you can now swipe. Uh, to go to Google Now from the home button, so you swipe up. There we go. Uh, and then also we have some other updates and that is that now Blink Feed also uh, will support, uh, let's see here, it will support the latest uh, or Instagram. So if you wanna add Instagram here, if you have an Insta Instagram account, you can now do that in the topics and services area here, service and apps, Instagram uh, for HTC Sense. So you can just add your account there. And of course, you already have Facebook and Facebook owns Instagram. Uh, so really no big surprise there. Uh, also on the lock screen, uh, you can now have widgets. So you can see I have a Google Now widget up here at the top. Uh, you can also let's see here, I think it's a little bit different here. I don't think I've seen that one before. Uh, but maybe I have. Uh, you still have those four icons that, at the bottom uh, and you can pick between a few widgets uh, in that area when you go into the settings. Uh, also you can see that now I'm pretty sure that you didn't have this before and that's that you can see uh, how much battery you have in the battery percentage and I do prefer that actually. Uh, and then also uh, the phone do come uh, with the daydream feature. So if you go into the settings area here, uh, go down to like, here you go, here I have the lock screen style. So you can see here on widget current, which I think is the new variant. And you can't pick uh, between that many though. And uh, then also if we go back here and go to maybe, there we go, there we have the daydream feature, which was a new update in Android 4.2, I think. Uh, so that is some of the new updates. If you do know any more updates, of course, uh, you can let people know. Uh, but the cool thing I think uh, is, and the most useful here, is definitely that you now have uh, a lot of quick toggles here that is built in. I would though prefer that if they were instantly when you were dragging down that you can see them and quickly enable and disable them. You says on the Sony Xperia Z uh, and the uh, Samsung's Galaxy S4. Uh, but uh, if you want to update, it should come out uh, for you if you have the international edition um, uh, with an over the air update. Uh, so uh, 400 megabytes is the set under 4.2, under 4.2.2. Uh, yeah, check it out.